Hi, I'm Epoch from Minigame Guides, and today we're taking a look at all the best character traits in Project Zomboid. Now, whenever you start a new character, then you have to choose, for example, an occupation, but also the best traits, so positive traits and negative traits. Now, there are a lot of them, and, you know, they're sometimes kind of overwhelming. So for that reason, I am making this video in two parts. First one, all the positive traits, and the second one, all the negative traits. So I will just show you which ones are the best, and I will explain to you what they do and why they are the best ones to pick for whenever you start a new character. Let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about Wakeful. Now this one costs only two points, but I think it's really one of the best ones. Now, what it actually does, it reduces the fatigue gain. So you're gonna get less fatigue, so you're gonna get the drowsy debuff less quickly. And also if you need, for example, six hours to remove that drowsy debuff normally, you will actually need only 4.5 hours if you have Wakeful as a trait. Now, this is basically just reduces your sleeping time by 25%. So not only do you actually have more hours in the day, so when you get drowsy, that's pretty much a point to go back to your base. And now you won't be forced to because you can just, you know, keep scavenging a little bit longer. And also you just can go to sleep a lot later on. So you can still use, for example, skill books or stuff like that before you go to sleep. And you won't waste a lot of the day with sleeping time. And because it also reduces your fatigue gain, you can also combine it with foraging or exercising, which are pretty bad for your fatigue in generally. So you can just, you know, take a lot more liberties with those things. Okay, let's talk about Cat's Eyes next. This one also costs two points. Now this is gonna give you better vision in the dark. Now this seems like a very little thing, but honestly, I really like it. It just basically gives you a little bit more freedom. So actually whenever you are outside and it starts to get dark, you actually still have any idea where you're going and you can see the zombies coming. Also, whenever you enter dark buildings, especially with electricity out, then you can still see whatever is around. It's easier to loot stuff and see the zombies coming. Dextrous costs only two points, and but it increases the speed by half when moving items in or out of containers. I just really like this one for the very simple reason that I can just enter whatever building that I want and just quickly loot everything. Or for example, whenever your weapon breaks and you can just quickly get one out of your backpack or if you want to eat something or heal yourself or whatever, it just makes it a lot easier. Okay, so this one is probably one of my favorite ones on the list for the very simple reason that I take it every, every run. Now, Brave only costs four points and it will actually reduce panic by 70%. Now, whenever your character actually really encounters a lot of zombies at the same time, he can get panicked and then suddenly all his stats go way down. For example, like hit chance and damage output and stuff like that. Now, the only downside that I think about Brave is if you are actually experienced enough to really just survive quite a long time, then it's kind of points thrown away because you get a passive panic reduction every 30 days up to 150 days, so you can get that five times. Now, that basically is going to come up to pretty much the effect of that Brave already offers from the very start. And if that is not enough, you can still use beta blockers that you can pretty much find everywhere. So that is also a really great way to reduce your panic. But honestly, I just really like Brave because it really gives you that really smooth start. Now, Lucky only costs four points, but it actually offers a lot in return. You get an additional 10% to find rare loot in containers and it also improves your repair chance. Now since the game is actually all about looting houses and you know scavenging all those items that you need to survive, that additional 10% chance to get some rare loot really makes a lot of difference. So you will be looting a lot and just you know, this way you can get a little bit quicker that cool thing that you really want. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this one is probably the best one in the list. Fast Learner for 6 points will give you 30% additional experience gain on all your skills except for strength and fitness. This will help you level up your skills a lot quicker. You will need to do a lot less grinding which will reduce your materials that you will need to level up your skills. Um, it's just so good that it's just something that is, yeah, it's almost pretty much a must have. Organized for six points is one that I really like. Um, so it will actually it increase the capacity of all containers by 30%. So your backpacks, your car seats, everything will have a higher capacity of 
which is really great, especially if you like to play like a nomad, just moving from one house to another house like I often do, which is one of my preferred ways to play this game. It's just really valuable. You are constantly doing scavenge runs and you're going back to your base. You will want to carry as much as possible, especially if you're using a weapon in both hands and can't afford to use a backpack in your secondary hand. It's just really great. Keen hearing for six points will give you a larger perception radius. Now perception is the circle of true vision you get behind your cone of vision. Now this will give you a little bit more of a warning whenever a zombie you know, sneaks up behind you. It can basically make the difference between life and death and for that reason it's a really great one to take if you actually have the points for it. Handy will increase your skill of carpentry and maintenance by one point and constructions will have extra health. Maintenance is pretty much all about preventing your weapons from going useless and for that reason I really like it because it's a really difficult skill to level up. Combine that with carpentry which you will need to fortify your base for example and you know increase the repair power of wood glue and crafting spears for example. Constructor stuff will be a lot stronger so that is a really great thing to have, especially when the dead are knocking on your door and gives you that little bit more time to, you know, take action either by fighting or running away. Okay, and the last two, which are the most expensive one on this list, are Athletic and Strong. Now, Athletic will give you four points of fitness, which will give you endurance regeneration and attack speed. And having the Athletic Tread actually results in the increase of movement speed. Strong will give you four points of strength and let you carry a lot more weight before incurring the heavy load penalties. And it just really increases your hit force, pretty much your knockdown. So... You never have to train either of those and honestly after I believe level 6 it becomes a really hassle to you know level up those skills. Just having these guys already leveled up quite a bit is really really useful. Alright let's get talking about all the negative traits. You will be needing a lot of points to get all those great ones that I just summed up so let's just jump right in. Let's start off with short sighted, which will give you two points. Now, honestly, I don't really always notice the effects of this one. So basically, zombies will fade out faster when leaving your line of sight. Now, honestly, I don't really notice this half of the time because, you know, you just saw the zombie, you turned around, but I don't think you've already forgotten that the zombie was there. So, I don't know. Uh, this one just seems like two free points. Slow reader gives you two additional points. Now what it just basically does is you will take about 30% extra time to read books. Now honestly at the start this is not that noticeable especially since you can just speed up time. And if you combine this for example with wakeful then you will need less hours of sleep. So then you can basically use those sacrificed hours for slow reader. Um, you know this only gets really noticeable when you start using the high level books as they have more pages. And they take longer to read, but as long as you have enough food and no origin stuff to do, this is basically, you know, another two free points. Weak stomach will give you three points and it doubles the power of poisonous, uncooked or rotten food. This is another three free points for the very simple reason is you should never eat poisonous, uncooked or rotten food. It's that simple. Prone to illness will give you 4 points and it will make you more likely to catch a cold, less likely to lose a cold and zombification will kill you faster. Now to avoid actually really being crippled by this is just basically get enough insulation. So if it's cold just wear the jacket. I am not your mother, why should I tell you this? Now for this one, high thirst that will give you 6 points, it will double your thirst increase. So basically you will need a lot more water. Now this seems something that is really, really difficult to live with, but honestly, it's actually not that bad because one, you have always easy access to get water in this game. And for example, if you use a bleach bottle, which is twice as big as a water bottle and fill that with water, you'll be settled. So don't worry about it. Slow healer will give you an additional six points, but will make you heal slower from injury and illness. First off, you should always try to avoid injuring yourself um, and even when you get hurt, you know, you can just take an extra day at your base and just heal your wounds. Don't really worry about it too much. Um, 
and you can always improve your healing times by using medicine items like poultries and constantly having the well-fed buff, which can be easily obtained by just getting some forged food. Now, this last one is something I really was debating if I wanted to place it on this list or not. This one is typically that I take, but might not be really advisable for starting players. Overweight will give you six points, but it will give you a starting weight of 90, and it will make a trait active that will let you move slower by 5% and have reduced stamina region, so reduced by 30%. So once again, it will make you move slower by 5% and have you reduced stamina region for 30%. Now this seems a lot for only six points, but it is something I still take for the very simple reason is that you can reduce your weight and actually gain that back. Now you can pretty much completely reverse this entire problem by simply for example you know eating food with low calories and just spending the extra calories doing combat with zombies or simple exercise the biggest downside to this one is that not only does it give you a slower start but it will also prevent you from taking any one of the positive fitness traits so that does kind of lock you out of that but the basic reason that I'm placing it on this list is because it's one of the very few traits that you can completely undo just by reducing your weight. Either way, it's one that I'm leaving completely up to you. Let me know down in the comments if that is one you would pick in compared to the other ones. But either way, those were all the trades that I highly recommend in Project Zomboid. Now, if you want some more help with actually surviving longer in-game, just check out this playlist for a few guides on, for example, how to install Build 41, you just get some beginner tips, or for example, what all those different skills mean. But guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.